عرضة ونور فيه شفاء للصدور وشفيعنا يوم النشور آياته تروي المدى وصفاته نبع الهدى نلقى الجنان بحبي لن تستقيم حياتنا إلا به هو القرآن والفرقان إليه تنصت الأكوان وفيه تعطر الآذى أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We continue with pondering and reflecting on Surah Al-A'la In this part 8 of this Surah we take ayah number 14 and 15 قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى The meaning Remember The meaning of these two ayah Successful indeed are those who purify themselves and remember the name of their Lord and pray So in these two ayah we get three lessons the first lesson is Tazkiyah. Tazkiyah is purification. When you, when you purify your heart, that is, uh, is Tazkiyah. And the next is Dhikr. Dhikr is remembrance of Allah a lot. So we've been, uh, and the third lesson is prayer. On the past lessons, on this, uh, during this, the beginning of Ramadan, we took steps on all this part, you know, the how to purify our heart by by istaada, uh, by dhikrillah uh, kathir, and uh, istighfar. All this was the preparation to make our heart ready to accept the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we see before, uh, the lesson before, it says only those who are uh, 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 who are aware and who are who have fear of Allah, those who have uh, who have uh, uh, who have khashia, which is fear of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, they will remain. They will receive the admonition. And now we see who will be able to be successful. The successful can accept the guidance are those who purify purify themselves. So we took the parts of purification by uh, by adhkar, by um, um, repentance. So we should remember that that is the only way when we have pure heart, our heart are clean, we are able to receive the good thing about Allah. And we need to work on cleaning our our heart. And after that, we we remember Allah a lot by dhikr. And then also uh, we glorify the name of, the, of Allah, you know, in prayer. Because the only connection we have between us and Allah is the prayer. When we want to speak with Allah, we go to prayer. When we want to hear the voice of Allah, we read Quran. We listen to other people who are knowledgeable. We hear what Allah has instructed us. But we cannot receive even whatever we read in the Quran and the guidance from Allah if our hearts are not ready, are not clean. And we see that uh, uh, our heart need constant purification. It's not something you do and it will remain clean forever. Like we take shower, some people twice a day, some people three times a day. Same thing, we need to work on cleaning our heart and maintaining the cleanliness 
of our part so that we can receive and be successful because the successful indeed are those who purify themselves and remember the name of their Lord and pray. And we, how can we remember the name of our Lord if we don't know the name of our Lord? So we need to educate ourselves. Who is Allah? What is the attribute of Allah? When we ask for forgiveness and we know that Allah is Al-Ghaffar, then we have that um, confidence that Allah will, Allah will forgive us because Allah is Al-Ghaffar. Uh, and it's only Allah who can forgive us. And Allah is Kareem. So when we ask Allah, we know Allah will answer our prayer because Allah is Kareem. So, and He's kind, you know, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. So all this only we can benefit if we purify ourselves. So this is uh, three things we learn from this part is uh, uh, purification, dhikrullah, and salah are the way to success. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka.